Example two, let's say we have a student takes three exams in a statistics course and either passes or fails the exams. So the different outcomes that we can have, well maybe let's write P for pass and F for fail. So the different outcomes that we can have here is, well, maybe they pass all three of the exams. Maybe they pass only two. So that means maybe they pass the first two and fail the third, pass the first, fail the second, pass the third, or fail the first, pass, pass. And then maybe it's a little bit worse, they fail the first two, and pass the third, fail the first, pass the second, fail the third, or pass the first, and then it went downhill for them, fail, fail. Then we might have the worst case scenario, fail, fail, fail. Now let's write this out in a sample space. So we have pass, 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 fail, pass, fail, pass, fail, pass, pass, fail, fail, pass, fail, pass, fail, pass, fail, fail, and fail, fail, fail. Okay, so now based on that sample space, the eight outcomes that we're looking at, we want to try and find out, are the following events simple events or compound events? So the first one here, we want the student to pass all the exams. So that means the outcome or outcomes, they pass the first, and they pass the second, and they pass the third. That's it for the event. There are no other outcomes, so because there's only one and one only, this is a simple event. Okay. What about the student fails at least one exam? So if they fail at least one exam, that means they could fail one or two, or they fail all of them. So. Let's write out all the ones that have one F because that means they failed exactly one. So that means we're looking at PPF, PFP, FPP. Now we're also interested in all the outcomes where there's exactly two F's or they failed two of the exams. So we have F, F, P, F, P, F, P, F, F. And then finally, the worst that you could do is fail all three. Now we have seven outcomes in this event. So that means we are working with a compa compound event. Okay, what about the student passes two of the three exams. So if that's the case, we are looking at all the outcomes where the letter P occurs twice, because that's exactly two of the exams. So we're looking at PPF, PFP, and FPP. Because I have three outcomes in this event, we are working with a compound event.